Hello everybody. What you're looking at here is the Bavarian Edge knife sharpener. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate uh, how well it works. First, I have this tomato here and I'm going to cut this tomato before I sharpen it. Now this one is pretty sharp. So now I'm going to pull it through like they said. They said this one supposed to be near you. These cross type things need to be near you. So I'm pulling it through. Now I'm going to try one more. Try it again. It does seem to be sharper. Now I have one here, this serrated edge. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to try it here with the tomato. It does pretty good without it being sharp, sharpened. So now I'm going to try, see if this, how well it does. Now I'm holding on to it so it won't fall off this table I have here. Seems to work pretty good. Now, every time uh, you see a product on TV, my question is to myself is, I wonder how well it worked. I don't know about you, but a lot of times things that advertise on TV may not be in real life may not work that well so I'm doing this demonstration for now this is kind of hard to get through it's moving the table a lot so this one isn't that sharp so let's try and pull it it through three or four or five times and see what, what happens Even when I pull it through, it seems to be pulling through a lot easier now than it did when I first started. And you notice I'm only doing it like five, three, five. This one the longest because it appears to be the, the least sharpened one. So now I'm going to go back to and try it again on this apple. It seemed to work pretty good. Now, again, I would probably want to sharpen it a little bit more times, but for the sake of the time on this video, I'm going to, this one here is a very expensive knife made in Germany. And let's just see what it does without being sharpened. Now I've had this one for a while, so let's just see if my hand out of the way. It does pretty good. It has a good weight on it too. So it, without being sharpened, it, it does pretty good. So let's see what happens. Wow, see, the pull is not that, that bad. So it's apparently, they say pull the knife towards you. That's the instructions on this little thing. It says face the blade you see that right there those excess things like i have here they want you to face it towards you and then pull the knife towards you like i was doing before so i just wanted to reiterate that this one uh it was sharp and all pretty sharp already so it's not going to take a whole lot for it that you know like a saw people go up and down like that with a saw and they're saying just pull it towards you so there I will say underneath here there there's other ways that they want you to look so the serrated one they have that one so the velvet one so actually when I did the serrated one I did not do um, the single bevet edge or the serrated edge as they 
that stayed it back here. So that's on me, not the company. So anyway, I'm going to go back to this one here because I want to do the the one that they're calling fine sharpening. That right there, it says fine sharpening. So that's what I want to do. Again, this is this this X that looks like an X or a hammer at the bottom. I'm doing just what they say. Pull it towards me. And move my hand out of the way so you all can see it. So now here's really good. This is an overripe tomato, so it's definitely. And this is the apple. This works really good uh, before, and it does even better afterwards. So and let's just try one more time with the apple. So, uh, I would say this really works. Um, it does have the, the inside of here where you can't really see it. That's attached there. The sharpen earth. And this is the Bavarian Edge. It says sharpen knives in seconds. I paid uh, $20 for them for this at Walmart uh, exactly twenty dollars without before taxes thank you for watching and have a great day and I hope this video has been somewhat of an educational eye-opener for you and again thank you for watching be kind to of yourself and others and have a great day goodbye